know, it's like someone said, um, the hard thing about the farm sim is that it really is designed towards big equipment. So I didn't put anything in there yet. I wanted to check and see what was in there. Nothing. <laughs> Um, they really are, they don't really, I mean, we've got an old, old tractor here that we're using, but in general, the game is really designed to work with, like, the latest and greatest, biggest, best. Um, they're showcasing, you know, high-end equipment and stuff like that, and there's, I don't have a problem with that, but you're missing out on some of the actual things of farming that go on, and that is, you know, and most farmers are using, in Ohio, in general, a lot of farmers like hobby farmers and stuff like that are using smaller equipment. They're just not using, you know. Now, I do see these mixing wagons around Ohio quite a bit. Um, I see bobcats around Ohio, JCB, whether they're JCB or New Holland or actual bobcat brand. Um, we do see those quite frequently. Um, and But we see a lot of open-top tractors. Um, now, Jade was telling me that the wind rowers, most guys... Uh, and girls don't prefer the um, like in America we use we don't use those rakes they're they're fussy they're break the 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 wind rowers that are in the game in real life they they break easily and they're you know a lot of maintenance I think Kyle was telling me that too like they just he doesn't see it very often but Jade has a huge farm and she said that they're not they don't use those um, they use the side winder style like the agromat and so. Um, those are more realistic to what you see, and I, that's what I see too. I see those side ones. You, some guy on an open tractor like that, hats with a with a little side windrower, maybe one or two guys out there, and they're flying down the field windrowing um, the leftover hay so and straw. So it's it's something where um, I I see that too. You know, like I they, people aren't using these giant rakes; they're using small windrowers. Um, I've had several farmers tell me that they don't they don't uh, Ted ever like nobody Ted's they just they mow they let it dry and then they go back and they collect it <laughs> they don't bother with the tedding because it doesn't really do much so I thought that was interesting uh, in this game you are forced to Ted there's no getting around if you want to make it hey you must Ted so but in real life they don't do it so much um, maybe they used to but they don't do it anymore so anyway the difference between games and reality. The game is more strict than reality. <laughs> Amazingly. Usually it's the other way around. The game is easier than reality. But in this case, the games are actually... This game is actually a little more strict about it. Now, things like... Uh, in this game, straw is used, obviously, to bed your cows. And then you get manure from that. Plus, you can also use it as filler so that you're not using as many bales of your expensive resources, which are hay and silage. But, big but, um, hay in, or straw in Farm Expert <laughs> mistakenly acts like hay. So you can dump straw and the, it, the game converts it to hay and then you have hay for your animals. So that is not realistic, but it does save you some time <laughs> in mowing equipment downside is it makes it so in the game you don't really ever need to buy mowing equipment because the game sees straws hey, and you can get lots of straw really easily when you plant wheat so you'd never really even bother getting the grass equipment because you've already got hay from your straw so that there and that's something that they carried over from the last version so i don't think it's something that they're going to fix i think they just leave it like that because they want you to be able to use your straw but that game does not implement how straw makes manure. You know, the cows just make manure automatically in that game. So, um, the hay, the straw becomes hay. It's just, it's a weird setup. It's not, it's not like this game where you actually, the hay, silage, and straw all have a different purpose, which I love because that's really how it is. Now, one of the things that I do like about Farm Expert is the annuum. The fact that you have a year, the fact that you um, can advance time and you have to really manage yourself and your crops. You can't just do it. You have to make sure that you're planting at the right times. And there are certain crops that you can actually um, grow over the winter. 
So um, now they don't grow during the winter, and Jade pointed this out. I didn't know this. Uh, when you plant something in September, it won't necessarily grow, but it does start to grow underground. And they say that the winter crops, like the stuff that you harvest in June or July, actually yield more than summer crops do, probably because they're in the ground longer. So I thought that was interesting. That was a, a neat thing to learn. Um, but the farm expert, because it has an, an, an annual year, you can actually do win summer and winter crops, which is really cool to me. I wish this game would add a calendar like that. I mean, it would probably... Well, it depends. I mean, it would really change the gameplay of this game, and I think that the developers probably are trying to keep 17 and whatever the next editions are going to be. I don't think we'll ever see that in this game, because this is the way that they've established the game. The people that play the game like the game the way that it is, with changes obviously being nice updates, but the general gameplay, I don't think that they'll ever go in and just like, hey, let's you know, blanket statement completely change this game so that it plays like Farm Expert. I don't think we'll see that. I have a feeling it'll always be one crop a day. Now I will say, and I don't know if this is farm specific, but on cold I'm playing on Cold Burrow for my personal farm. I still love Cold Burrow. It's one of my favorite maps. Another map by Oxygen David. Um, you don't see that on the channel anymore. I played on Cold Burrow for a little while. It's uh, Cold Burrow Park Farm is the name of the map. And um on Cold Burrow, I'm not using the soil mod, but I have it set on slow growth, and it actually takes about three days for the crops to grow. I, I, I used to think it took like like 28 hours when you had it on slow, and then like 20, like 15 hours or 20 hours when you had it on fast. But it's taking like two to three days for my crops to grow, and I like that. I hope that that's something that they uh, carry over into the next farm simulator, that it would actually take a couple days or a week to grow a crop so that you can slow it down you know and actually have a little bit more of a realistic cycle because like I said one of the big issues with this game is that it there is no actual year in year out cycle you just you plant a crop the next day you harvest it and that takes it out of the simulator realm and makes it into a very huge game at that point because <laughs> you're not actually simulating farming in real life the farmer has like I mean there's always chores to do around the farm but the main thrust is, you know, like the planting and the and the harvesting, they come in bookends, you know. You have it twice a year. Once a year, if you're not doing winter crops, you plant in, you know, the spring. Most farmers do two crops, it seems like. I, you do see, in here in Ohio, I see winter crops. So they plant, you know, in the, in the, in the winter, they harvest that like in June. You see the harvesters out in June. And then they plant again right after that. And then you see the harvesters out again in September, October. So um, we do that here in Ohio. And I think probably most farmers are doing that. So, oops, wrong button. Crap, I'm trying to get it. These are really hard to tip over. Like you think it would be a little bit easier. I'll just go this way then. Hey. Oh, for crying out loud, flip over already. Cheaper. There we go. I don't know what I'm talking about. What were we talking about? Oh yeah, getting two crops a year. So anyway, it's just it's just different. But I like both games. I'm sorry. I know like once again people don't like it. I'm gonna stop apologizing. I love it. I love the other game. Sorry. I love this game too. I love them both. Is there something wrong with loving both games? I these people that have like a, um, and I'm not saying that my viewers are like this necessarily. Some of them are, but most of them aren't. Uh, that have are closed-minded, like you know, like Ford guys. You know what I mean? Like, and then Chevy guys. It's like, you know, oh, you never buy a Ford, but Chevy's the best ever. Now I'm a Chevy guy. I happen to be a Chevy guy, but I'll drive a Ford, and if it's a good car and they make a nice car and it's going to last, you know, I'll buy it. I'm not opposed to that. I, you know, it's like people that are like. I guess brand specific. It's just funny to me. Like you're you're missing out on another experience. You know, it's like, especially when it comes to a twenty dollar game. I mean, come on, it's twenty bucks. People are gonna hate on the on the farm expert because they're farm sim fans. Like, oh, it's, this game's terrible. Well, no, it's just different. Is it terrible? Well, <laughs> there are a lot of bugs. <laughs> so, for, in a sense, yes, it is terrible, but it's kind of fun. I like I said, I've really been enjoying farm expert and i i think if you like farming games like i do and i, I don't know. 
and want to try something a little different, you know, I'm not expecting Farm Expert to be Farm Sim. They're two different games, and I'm okay with that. And it's a lot of fun. It's a it's a lot of dang fun to play that game. I'm really enjoying it. I've I've, I've really had a good time playing that game. So get over yourselves. You'll survive. Life is good. The game is good. Don't be crabby. No more anger or, or distress. But seriously, it's it's a it's a good game. It's not the same game. It's not. And there are comparisons that are drawn. You know, it's like comparing Armored Warfare to World of Tanks. They're two totally different games. This is what I get for playing at eleven forty at night. Man, I gotta go to bed soon. Um. Well, I mean, as long as I'm in bed by one, because I have to get up at nine or nine thirty. No, probably nine. Can you, what, Ryan? No, it starts at nine ten fifteen. Mom said to meet her at ten fifteen. Can you please uh, make the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and get them wrapped, Ryan? If you wrap them in sandwich bags, they will not be gross. They won't harden if you wrap them in a sandwich bag and put them in the fridge. They'll be fine. Okay, fine. Then you can wake up in the morning and do it. Okay, well then do it tonight. <laughs> do it. Yeah, I'll probably just have to do it. Wait, what did I put in there? I don't even remember. Sometimes I'm just talking away and then I'm not... All right, we're 50-50, so. I did see a company, too. This is this cracked me up. As I said, I went to Columbus earlier today, and, uh, like, well, all day. And <laughs> I went to meet a friend. Like, I, my friend Greg lives down there. He's a, a friend from when I was high school, college. And uh, he lives in Columbus. And I was like, hey, dude, I'm coming down to shoot. You want to get some, you know, dinner? He's like, well, how about lunch? Because he's like, I, I have to work all evening. He's like, how about if we just get some lunch? I'm like, yeah, that's cool. It turned into more of a breakfast thing, but we had a donut and uh, a muffin and some coffee. But anyway, while I was waiting for him to get there, right next door to the, the restaurant we went to was a uh, was a crane rental facility. And they were working on one of the cranes. And what was so funny was the guy was rolling the, the, the cable up. Like, they put some weight on the cable and then they were rolling the cable up. And he was using WD-40 to lubricate it. <laughs> like he had two cans of WD-40, and he's just sitting there lubricating the chain with WD-40. And I'm like, well, I never, you know, I never would think that you'd see this. I mean, this was a, I mean, we're talking a monster crane. This thing was like probably, it probably had a 150-foot boom on it. I mean, the thing was just, it was meant for building buildings. You know, like I could see it when I got off the exit. Like as I was coming up on the exit, I could see it from almost like half a mile away. I mean, the thing was freaking huge this giant crane and, and they were they're lubing it up with with wd-40 and i was like what <laughs> i guess it works well yeah like ryan said it works well i would have expected some like industrial grade you know <laughs> but nope just regular old wd-40 in the can so i'm thinking ah what should we do what what you gonna do, do, do? I'm lonely. So slide over here and give me a moment. Your moves are so raw. I've got to feed these cows. I've got to feed these cows. One more load should do it. I think we're almost there, man. And then I'm going to grab the rest of these bales and we're going to run them over to sell them. Actually, no. I'm going to run them over to Animal Farm and we can start feeding those. We'll pick up some animals and we'll get them some food because we got food now for them. So, um, not a whole lot, but it'll be enough. They, you know, they don't really take that much. That's the great thing about those animals. So, we're going to buy some animals today and start stocking up the Animal Farm. Um actual animal for well we have cows we've had cows for the last couple of days but i've had nothing to feed the animals so now we're going to actually feed them oh this bale's rolling away 
I'm a horrible person? Now they're dead because you're a horrible person. Oh, they're yeah. dead because I'm a horrible person. We're going to try just one. Hey, get in there. Gay! No escaping. No! <laughs> he murdered all the bales. Does a cow does a cow care? <laughs> they where right they they don't have like pre programmed paths, you mean? <laughs> like they have to actually go collect the cows, like crap, my cows ran away, I left the gate open. <laughs> Who cut this fence? <laughs> Who was that? Uh, Band of Brothers? <laughs> No, it wasn't enough. But we're gonna we're gonna save the rest. So. I'm trying to disconnect the trailer, but I forgot. I have to actually pull it up where I'm not in the suck zone, in the dump zone. What? Achoo! Achoo! What? Um, yeah. So the castle is south. I'm zero here. <laughs> Crashing into everything on the farm. <laughs> All right. Uh, come on, back up. Slowly. Back it up. All right, where's my Mercedes Benz? Unimog. We will, uh, actually I need to clean that JCB and put it away, so we'll do that first. Thank you, Hats. Good job, Mr. Hatter. I'm going to wash the manure off the tractor. We're washing the tractor. There's the Mercedes. It's tucked away. I've got your pattern memorized. Good ability? Are you being like... Let's see. You see that new farm sim? Hang on. What? Oh, let's see. Hang on. I think what I'm actually going to do, because there's only four usable bales here, or eight. I'm going to separate these out, and then I'm going to sell the rest of these for soilage. <laughs> Which means i got nothing to feed any animals that I buy for the other farm. Maybe maybe we should just wait. Let's see here. Uh, hold on. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna, we're going to grab the Mercedes. I'm hoping... What? No, dynamic. No, he's under power. He's powered right now. Train just went by. The scraping noise is probably like a bad bearing. Or his wheels are just making the hissing noise on the tracks. Oh, he's really under power. No, he's po like powering up. I'm hoping that I can just throw four of these bales in the back of this. And then we'll sell the other ones. Oh, there's six! Hey! <laughs> Got a, a match set of... Actually, that'd be way more than that. I probably just need to get the trailer, but let's see if these fit in there. I want to throw one in and see if it'll actually go in. It'd be great if we could. It'd be kind of fun to have to make a couple trips, but <laughs> actually, I'll try. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. My guess is that it won't, because this is game is usually pretty bad about like, putting things inside things. Yeah, see the trailer? It's not even like a solid wall. It's just... That's stupid. Dang it. You could put grain in here, though, but it won't take the bales. That's a pisser. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. So I'm going to separate these out. And then we'll get the Mercedes in the trailer. I'm going to sell the extra silage bales because there's not going to be that much left over. And I feel like just selling them. But I don't think... I've got enough... i got enough for a pretty decent feed over on the other side there. 
We'll have enough for two feeds for each animal pin. Like I said, they don't take much. The 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 nice thing is that the pigs and and goats or sheep or I don't know whatever the pigs and the oh cattle uh, don't take too much to feed. We're not going to get that. We'll probably buy a hundred of each. See how they do. Uh, we'll have to get water over there too, though. That's going to be a bit of a problem. I think I might have a water trailer over there if I remember right. We need to give these guys water too, so we're going to do that. Yeah, we're going to do that, and then we're going to get some more of this and yo and stuff. Come on. Take this thing out, please. Come on. Ah. Crap. Who's getting mad? Who, me? Well, the enemies are mad at you. They jump around. They jump around. They jump up, jump up, and jump around. <laughs> Separation time. There we go. Whoop. Ow! Trapsicles! You guys are terrible! Alright, so we're going to pick one. There's two more, I think. And then I need to get the same amount of other ones. The Unismog. I love the fact that I can put that little trailer on the back, though. Just imagine how cool you are, Ryan. Best looking Castlevania ever. Oh, yeah. I don't know. I never really loved the 3D Castlevanias. I like the 2D ones. What is it? Lament of Innocence? Curse of Darkness. Oh, the Men of Innocence is the and bad it, one. It, it was this game. It was basically the same movement system and attack system as this game, minus the customization of like the different items and the weapon types. Well. And the camera you couldn't control. The camera was a set camera. You know, so every time you go in, it would start from like the corner of the room. Well, that's not good. So a lot of times when you get too close, you couldn't see your character. Oh. And you die. And you die. So they fixed the camera on this. And this was more true. So Arthur, why are you doing this? Well, because we're gonna take we're gonna take ten bales over to the other five of each over to the other farm, and then we're sell we'll sell the rest of these. Cheesy voices. High budget voice actors. The main enema. I see. 2030? Isn't that in the future? La future proche? Présent? Passé? Passé participe? I'm like, heck! <laughs> the French teacher, when she started, when we started doing, uh, like past, present, past participle. I started, I was like, I can't even get this stuff in English. How the heck am I supposed to learn this stuff in French? <laughs> oh, I was so bad at French class. That was like the worst class. I never could, do, I never did well. But she still passed me because she's like, well, you made a noble effort. You stuck with it for like seven years. Too bad, you know, I, could, I still can't speak it. I can barely read it. I most oftentimes have to consult a dictionary for half the words because I'm like, I don't know what that means. I think that's what this means. I just remember uh, the Close Encounters of the Third Kind, uh, Professor Neary, like the like the French scientist. <laughs> écoutez, écoutez! <laughs> He's like screaming, "Listen, listen!" When the alien, do 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 do. They had that. They had that whole scene with the. Um, actually, I'm done with this guy. That where they they went to South South Africa, I think, or maybe India. I think it was supposed to be South Africa, and they went to the desert and um, on a horse with no name. Oh, anyway, they had a they had like a whole like all these people were out in the middle of the desert. Maybe it was India. Like it, I thought it was the Sahara Desert. Anyway, there's like a ship um, that's in the middle of the desert, and all these 
I think it was all these people that had disappeared. And then all the all these, you know, locals were out there like, you know, bowing down like they saw their god. And they were like, you know, they were singing that la 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 la. <laughs> and Monsieur Neri, he was like, écoute, écoute. Like, hey, that means listen. <laughs> That's listen in French. Hey, everybody, I got a French word. Écoute. <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited because I understood what he was saying. And I could understand some of the speaking. You know. Say Lemem shows, it means it's the same thing. He said that quite a bit. Uh, Monsieur Neri. Okay, so I'm going to hop in the anti tractor tractor. I wonder if this thing gets double wheels. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. And I don't know if I can pull this trailer or not without having the um, the PTO. Oh, it does still have a PTO. Okay. Yes, Ryan? Yeah, that looks like an elevator that I wouldn't get on it with a like a red velvet chair and small. No, actually, it's like a, it looks like a bird cage. Actually, where's the Dumper, I'm on the wrong side. Do 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 do. I love that movie. Close Encounters is one of the sci-fi greats. What, Ryan? Yeah, it's good. It's yeah. We need to watch. You guys need to see it. Steven Spielberg, man, he was awesome. Back in the Spielberg day. Just gonna use up all the water. I know they were low. I'm probably going to have to get a second container full. Yep, let's go get more. What's that, Ryan? Well, I can't really hear it because I've got my headphones on. I'll take your word for it. I love the wheels on the Zundhammer. They're so freaking big. Look at those big wheels, Ryan. What do you think about that? <laughs> They're like giant monster wheels. <laughs> it's a monster truck trailer. <laughs> Awesome European equipment. You know, let's see Zun hammers. I mean, I'm, I'm sure there's guys here in the States that use slurry tankers, but I think ours look different. I've never seen one that looks like this. Doesn't mean they don't exist. I don't exist, but that they don't live here in the States. I'm sure some high-tech farmer somewhere has one. Hmm. <sighs> The question is, what do I do with my milk truck? Is he? I'm gonna start popping through while that's filling up. Let's see. There's this guy. That guy. This guy. That guy. I, I thought I bought a milk truck. Where's my freaking milk truck? Oh, here he is. Oh, he's parked. He's hidden. Okay, that's what. I'm gonna start to get angry. No. Did I run out of money? Why won't I fill up anymore? Oh, because this truck has a capacity too. So it's it's full, but 1850 or 1,500. 18,000. <laughs> Hi, lizard man. Ow! Stab me! A jet whack? Jet lag? Oh, I kind of jumped there. <laughs> Good thing I had my seatbelt on. Fill her up. I love the way the things actually operate on this trailer. I wish, I'm wish i hoping that they do this for the next version of the game, that they'll actually have a functioning hose system like this trailer does, because it's easily done, it looks like. Though really, this is the only one I've ever seen do it. But Wow, I mean, that was like right on the button. <laughs> 